Hello, hello. Welcome to Handleiber Live. It is Tuesday, and it is the time that we do this show. I'm John, aka Migrant P, lead developer at Handleiber Games, and we're going to continue with some more Earth Prime previews tonight. Uh, development is going along well. We're working on all kinds of stuff uh, to get it all shaped up and ready for you, so uh, we'll see what happens tonight. I have a new build that I didn't even test. <clears throat> but hopefully it's okay. Uh, yes, welcome in the chat, Sparky Wolf, Kate Walker, and Sparky Wolf again, but also Logic Dolphin. <laughs> HBot, read the chat. Uh, feel free to say hello in the chat if you want, or to lurk if you prefer. That's also fine. Logic Dolphin has subscribed for 46 months. That is almost a four-year-old uh yeah so make sure my setup is good looks good keep the chat focused here and so yeah i'm just gonna play some regular not oblivion but games that have earth prime content so i'm drinking a propeller english style special bitter extra special bitter and i'm sure it's delightful Confirmed. Delightful. All right. So I'm told that one of the things that this build fixes is some issues with damage previews and canceling damage and stuff. So we'll look at this random. Got us Lady Lyric and Captain Thunder. Also Legacy and Guys with Runes of the Lance and Akash Buddha. That seems exciting. Let's go ahead with it. Uh, it's like it's a bitter, which means it's not actually that bitter. <laughs> If that makes sense. <clears throat> hey, you playing the video game? Make me look good. Don't mess this up. Also, I'm working on the page turns. Let's see if it looks good. Ooh, yeah, it's got a little extra flippity flip there. I'd have to make a few more tweaks. We upgraded it to a new version, and uh, yeah, we have uh, leader support chaos and Captain Cosmic. We have a lot of captains going on. Logic Dolphin has decided he doesn't like fiends. Well, we can't all be fiends. All right, let's get going. I can look at the at the hands, I guess. We have Guys of Barbarian, Say Cheese. Where do they leave that? An extreme. Backfist, Drag, Danger Sense, Takedown, Thok. Autonomous Blade, Conservation of Energy, Potent Disruption, and Wounding Buffer. Lady Liberty. The all-new Lady Liberty has Blazing Torch, Liberty Smite, One-Two Punch, and Shelter the Innocent. And Captain Thunder has Energized, Ionized Atmosphere, Shock and Awe, and Thunderclap. Let's see. Primeval, well, we got limbs right away. Akash Buddha is not playing around. Oh, but it only found... No, it did find a few. We have Rock Slide, Phalanges, Brambles, and Disrupt the Field. And another... Okay, I guess we're having a target-rich environment here. This should be exciting. Hopefully we can, like, continue to play cards and stuff. Might be a short game. Yep, we can't play cards. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. What a start. What a start. That's legendary. I should make this a weekly one shot. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Let's get beat up by living rock slides here. Uh, Legacy will take the hit, I guess. Oh, I need to start a prediction. Will I defeat Akash Buddha? Spoiler alert. Seems unlikely. You never know. Get your predictions in. All right, we may as well draw our card. Oh, Legacy can actually get rid of a leaking room, can't he? Hooray! Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, guys, <laughs> it's like guys could at least do one damage. No, he can't. <laughs> he can't deal damage. <laughs> Poor guys. We have Prime Wardens, Captain Cosmic. Uh, I guess Autonomous Blade on Captain Thunder is pretty good. Because he often does out of turn damage if he gets the right cards in play. And her power is to deal one target and herself to radiant damage. Liberty Smite lets us play an extra card. We can do a bunch of damage this turn. We haven't activated... Well, Blazing Torch is going to let us draw an extra card. So, kind of thinking about that. Unless we're able to, if we're able to kill something, we could do three... Seven? Nine damage? And he's good for one, easily. So, we can take it the Rock Slide. We work together like that. So, I think we'll do that, actually. Rock slide is hurting us the most right now, so. Radiant dive. Well, I guess next we'll probably work on either the brambles or the carapace. Probably the carapace. So energize, gets us hit points, and draw a card. Oh, this one's really good. We get to three blaze, and this gives everyone a card draw. That's nice, too. And also Thunderclap lets us do extra damage. But let's play this, and we get a card play at the end of our turn. So take out the Rock Slide. Then Thomas Blade goes off. And get a card play. <clears throat> I guess guys could get to play a card he didn't get to. He doesn't really have anything exciting, though. I guess if he plays Say Cheese, Say Cheese. Yeah, he's not going to... I'm like, could he get to kill the carapace? The answer is no. Play Heroic Interception. Or Takedown out of turn. I don't mind Takedown out of turn. It stops the environment causing more card plays that at no cost so ooh thunder punch let's play another card oh yeah we can thunder punch the carapace away so let's do that I know we don't get any boosts or anything but it's nice to get rid of it This is regular Akash. Hello, Seamus, by the way. Uh, discard our hand to destroy this card. We don't have a way to destroy it right away. We could just remove it with Legacy again. Maybe we'll just do that. Skip. Who can't deal damage? Autonomous Blade. That seems fine. Uh, Captain Cosmic Volunteers to take a hit. So, what now, guys? I guess we draw some cards. I don't really know what I want. I could play Gritty Reboot and draw some more cards when the Toxic Seaweed hits us. Maybe let's do that. Into the Brambles that are stopping things from dealing damage. So here... Uh, okay, 
think we just like punch and we get rid of the toxic seaweed. Bye. Legacy taking care of the environment. Uh, we could put a wounding buffer out. Who's the highest now? Legacy or Captain Thunder? Put it on Captain Thunder. Considering potent disruption too, but... Let's go with that. Blazing Torch is gonna be getting us extra card plays soon. This can work on any one target. It's kind of fun. Let's take out the brambles. And start getting Blazing Torch going. Which guys would love to copy someday. Crew, yeah, dealing with guys. <laughs> we go with Thunderclap because we're going to get to use it in a second. And we start working on a Phalanges. Who would like to play a card? Probably not guys here. We're doing okay. I think for we could do flying smash. It's not, not terrible. Excuse me. Um, yeah, unshackled resilience is good in this environment. Or megalopolis, for example. We go shock and awe though. Maybe card draws for all. Or dress for all. Except Captain Thunder. Well, he's going to get to draw... I guess he can always use Energize for his other... But he's going to get to... Uh, play another card at the end of his turn. I guess he could decide to... Uh, or he could do that. He could draw, but I think playing... Ranking Bolts... It's not like the best right now. Maybe we'll use Energize right now. Give guys more cards. Deal each target three melee damage. Oh, that's happening. <laughs> three card for guys. Weekend of mead and whiskey and board games. <laughs> Highest HP. Winning buffer is going to go off here. All right. Guys is here with best card ever. So let's start with Guys the Barbarian. Play best card ever. Punch for four damage. Let's go for the carapace. Woo! Woo, I say. Woo. Uh, say cheese is gonna work here, right? Quite a bit. We can actually do a uh, yeah, but it's. I could have done Aya uh, yeah, and played an extra card. That would have been cool. I should have done that. <laughs> How do we get Unshackled Resilience in play? Did we top deck that somehow? Oh, we did top. We did top deck it. Be better to play Aya. Uh, yeah. I guess it's too late. I already like drew cards or whatever. But that would be fun to play an extra card. 
and draw an extra card. That's okay though. And good gimmicky character, I guess, for hit points. A hit point. Let's do it again. A hit point. Now we can play blatant reference. Mm, this is a tasty burger. And the shots at Carapace. Discard a card. Go, guys, go. Uh, flying Smash looks good here. That will clean up all of the primeval limbs at the end of this turn. You can actually play a card. Weird. Weird. Guys play a card. Where did I leave that? Yeah. I didn't get what I was looking for. I want best card ever back. <laughs> I can do that to on Captain Thunder for a card play, that's true. Let's discard. Copy of. Oh, yeah. Oh, it pains me. For three damage. Alright, we have a couple constructs at one hit point, so destructive response will probably work. Maybe. Uh, we can discard a say cheese. We could have two unshackled resiliences. Uh, yeah, let's go with the radiant dive. I get to play two cards. I get to play two cards. Not really anyone want to need to protect right now. We'll just play this and then you have it. And do some damage. Also, we get more hit points. One other player may use a power. I choose guys. Ice plays a guard. He plays the best guard ever. See you later, Seamus. Woo! Throw my hands. Throw hands. Let's play Look What I Found. Increase the next damage dealt by guys. Which is right now. Now we can discard. I think I'm doing super ultra. I'm running out of cards. But they're being put to good use. It seems like a waste to play arcing bolts here, so let's skip it. it needs to get an inspiring presence. Wonder if Legacy has some way to draw more cards. Not at the moment. We do a one-two punch. We could have <clears throat> guys play things. Play a cosmic crest. Not very exciting. Let's just play a punch. High five legacy in advance for broken interception, but oh, static response that's kind of what I'm looking for actually. 
because that lets our autonomous blade go off more times. And our thunderclap. Here goes the Kraken, the Carapace. Akash combo. All right, wounding buffer taking a hit here. If I shuffle it into my deck, I can draw or play a card. Yeah. I'll allow it. Let's hit the Carapace and the Kraken. We can't hit the Kosh Buddha. And why don't we play that Cosmic Crest after all? See, Mystical Defenses comes out to destroy our stuff. Oh no, Autonomous Blade can't deal damage. All right. Guys has too many hit points. I guess I get an extra draw. Not super exciting though. What if we can copy something else? We don't have it. Maybe she'll get something by then. I don't think so though. You copy like ionized atmosphere and thunderclap and static response. It's kind of funny. Let's do that. Let's high five Captain Thunder. Just just to mix it up. And we'll draw a card. Let's punch the carapace. And here, if I skip, I do dam area damage, right? Yeah. And then I get to do extra damage. So having plus damage on this would be pretty cool. Just didn't happen to have it anymore. Another thing I could have done, but I didn't do. Who even am I? Uh, let's punch the carapace. The Kraken's going to go after something if we get it right, but... Uh, I mean, we don't have to leave the Kraken around, but I feel like we probably should. We can give Lady Liberty a power that doesn't hit herself if we want. I mean, we could also let Captain Cosmic have the Cosmic Weapon itself, which is probably a good idea. Why don't we do that? And... We get Potent Disruption something for... We don't super need the Cosmic Crest, actually. Oh yeah, we also get to do extra damage. Would you look at that? It's like I planned it. Doing like one damage <laughs> somewhere. I guess uh, Captain Thunder's doing one damages. Maybe we just like get a cash with this. Kraken is going to go for Autonomous Blade, right? We could shelter the innocent with Autonomous Blade if we wanted to. Uh, just play another copy of this. We get to play another card. Alright, Autonomous Blade will live. I decree it.
more damage. All right, arcing bolts now, sure. Brambles. One player may play a card. We're just getting the same cards over and over again. Who shuffled this deck? Let's play Energy Bracer, maybe? Layla really wants to be like at exactly 15, right? She can get there. I think we want to draw a card here. We're running low. More card draws for everyone else. The Atlantean Font of Power. Hey. Prevent it. This is playing the top card of each attack, right? Yeah. Let's hit the rock slide. That's a bad thing. Danger sense. Unflagging animation is good. Free card play. Who can do seven damage? That's three and card draws, which isn't necessarily doing anything. Uh, I can do that too. Gives more card plays. Or this top deck thing. Just thinking, how do we get to use this power? <laughs> uh, we can do four damage with the card play here. So I can do that too. Is one damage and a card play. We get the rock slide to be lowest. Oh, it's already gone, right? It's already gone off. I think that's worth a chance. Guys plays a card. We are going to use Captain Thunder's power. Do one. Oh, I guess it's two damage to the rock slide. And I think Lady Liberty's the best chance here, right? Because that's four damage. Potent Disruption is more yeah that's five damage plus the one so that's actually enough i mean just the five damage is enough so captain cosmic it is we lose the cosmic weapon i don't think any of our constructs care about hanging them no GG, Captain Cosmic. Just Captain, just to have fun to power stuff. Captain Thunder is immune to damage. The environment deck is empty. And Thomas Blade still can't deal damage. I think Guys is not going to play these. He will draw a card. And punch the brambles. As you do. And for Legacy? I don't know. I don't really need to do anything. Start playing some of the cards, I guess. Uh, let's give a card play 
to... I just need card draws. Fucking ah, I guess, gives card draws. And then we can play Storm Strike on our turn. Curse you, Brambles. Hey, best card ever. Ooh, ring the bell. I like that. Ooh, inspiring presence. I double like that. We can put that cosmic weapon right back into play. Seems great. We can give an energy bracer to, say, Legacy, who can redirect damage to himself, I guess. And hit the brambles. Yeah, ring the bell. Event that card play. I get to play another card. It's even better. Let's keep punching Akash Buddha. We get to use two powers, right? No. Oh, I can if I hit myself with this. Is this going to heal me? Yeah, unfortunately. Can't stop it from healing me. <laughs> Uh, we get guys to play best card ever. We can get Captain Thunder to deal damage and let someone play a card, which sets off his extra one damage, which isn't huge, but it's... I mean, guys is also doing one damage, so it's not really... It's like one damage more, right? So... One damage more. You can get the Kraken to hit uh, Akash Buddha. Uh, guys. Yeah, we didn't want healing there, but we top decked it. Uh, I can play another card, but I don't even know what I would want to play here. I guess total beefcake is fine. Might do something. Passing would be fine there too. Ooh, light of liberty. Ooh, light the way. Those are cards I want to see. Storm strike is here. This is just more damage, but playing a card is probably more damage than that, right? Like we could play light of liberty. We could play Inspiring Presence. I think I'm on board with Inspiring Presence here. Let's just play draw card. Play a draw. <clears throat> Every shuffle flips. Nosh Thria. And we can say the cosmic weapon takes the hit here because everything's at full. Get to deal more damage. Probably don't want to hit the Kraken now. No one wants to discard their hand. We can retcon the toxic seaweed. Never happened. No card play. All right, victory lap. Not enough cards in hand. Must recharge happiness. I think we're going to play Latent Reference, because I think we 
for winning. And Lake Seed does not have a damaging power, unfortunately. Not gonna bother with Lead from the front. Let's play a card that does damage. Conservation of energy does damage. Uh, we could play Light the Way, but we kinda wanna play that on our turn. Actually, don't have a lot of plays. Yeah, let's play Stained Influence, then we'll do Cause on our, the other thing on our turn. Let's get the Cosmic Weapon back. It's going to go away pretty soon, I think, but. Like, yeah, right away. I guess we could lose energy bracers. We're not really using them. And yeah, let's just draw. energy bracers, but hey. This turn seems like should put all game. Well. Alright, we can just play like Liberty. We can play both, right? We can play both. Honor the Fallen or Stand in the Light. Yeah, definitely onto the fallen. Oh wait, this is the card to play in hand. It's written that way, thus it must go that way. Uh, Light of Liberty. Plus damage for all. Use this to like do the... Oh wait, we can do both. We can do both. Unless we top deck something that heals us again. <laughs> Let's see. This is five damage. Only four to ourself. Oh, we can get another Light of Liberty? Yes, please. This does two damage when one player draws a card. This does five damage. So eight. Seems good. Guys for the win. Guys sells out for the win. Oh, no. He only has a plus one. She has plus two. Right. So. Captain Thunder gets to finish the job. GG. Guy stumbles at the finish. All right, we win against Akash Buddha, despite a really troubling start. I defeated Akash Buddha. All right. Screenshot shared to Steam Library. Let's start a new game. Random Argo with the Scholar of the Infinite, Termination Unity, Akash the Spirit of the Void, Dr. Metropolis and the variant Dr. Metropolis and Temple of Zhulang. That's cool. We're going full random here, friends. Let's do it. But I will. The blue was destroyed by an environment card in Tartarus. Nice. Let's get a prediction up. Will I defeat Argo? What I've learned playing Argo, especially designing the tutorial, is just like, don't worry about him playing cards when you hit him. Just like, beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Your powers are mine. 
the time for a quiet contemplation is over. We must act boldly now. Let's see if my strategy for beating the crap out of him works. The scholar has get out of the way, keep moving, offensive transmutation, and solid to liquid. Unity has inspired repair, supply crate, swift bot, and volatile parts. Akash Thria has two creeping molds, cultivation, and strangling roots. And Dr. Artropolis has aggressive recycling, controlled demolition, home turf, and predatory intersection. Let's do it. The end of the villain turn, play the top card of the villain deck. Don't like that. You're saying be a bully? <laughs> saying don't worry too much about him is the first time each turn thing it can be bad when he plays like all of his damage reduction cards that's annoying but nemesis bonus and a shinobi assassin what the crap happened there <laughs> So it came out and did its own 3 damage, but then it also did this. <laughs> wow. Alright, that's going on. Is anyone going to be able to shuffle it into their deck? That would be funny. Uh, yeah? Scholar can shuffle it into his deck. So, the Scholar. That happened. <laughs> You only just took nine damage. Or whatever. Was it nine? It was six. Still. Alright. Keep moving. Into... I think Flesh to Iron is good with this variant. So we'll start with that. And we'll just, like, do this to Argo. So this one that plays an extra card is the worst... This one is not so bad. So I have a Shinobi Assassin in my deck somewhere. That is a true fact. It's not on top, though. You must find golems. Strangling Roots, Strangling Roots? Strangling Roots is a nice card, but it doesn't really work right now. I think Cultivation is good here. Let's just get uh, our seeds into the deck. Getting the cards into the trash is the hard part with this variant. But I'm just going to destroy an ongoing. Yeah, okay. We want to destroy that ongoing. You could play another one. Oh, another one that plays the top card of the own deck. All right. All right. This isn't going to do anything. Right now, that's not doing anything. We'll do a thing. I could control the environment deck. Excuse me. Yeah, if I do that, I could I could use this power to play the location. So let's play this. I feel like controlling the environment deck is good here. Oh, right, but the assassin comes into play. <laughs> Crap. Well, actually, that's good. We can destroy one of these ones as playing extra cards. Of course, there's two of them. Right, so only two cards were revealed, so I may discard one of them. Yeah, we don't like these. So that happened. <laughs> More things happened. The poisoner's here. Mm -hmm. 
more things continue to happen. The arrow launcher is here. I can't deal damage though. Poisoner kills the mold, which destroys the thing that plays more cards. Yes, good. Kills itself, which makes it deal damage. But Argo, Argo's the one dealing the damage here, not the arrow launcher, right? Yeah, so good offensive transmutation, I should say, to the Shalar. And I don't really want to play these cards. I'm like near full health, so I'm just going to skip playing a card. And this is almost no damage, so I'm just going to skip it as well. Draw an extra card. I do want to destroy the supply crate. Give me more cards. Ooh, construction pylon! Give me that construction pylon. There's nothing else better, right? No. That is the thing I want the most. Hasty augmentations. Let's hit Argo. He reveals battle form. Malleable battle form. I like the art in Earth Prime. It looks cool. And it's variable. I like that it's variable. We can put out another creeping mold here. I feel okay with that. And we can play the Strangling Roots, and then we can hopefully get it in. They can deal damage, and they can do stuff. Ah, Smoke Dispenser. Don't like that one. This is the one that plays the tough card of his deck. So he flipped. Uh, because there were enough imprints in play. This is going to do two damage to everything. And play another card. And that sucks because... Oh, so yeah, when... There are more than four. Each time it enters play, destroy one other imprint. So we can get rid of the smoke dispenser right now. It's giving him damage reduction, but he is doing two damage across the board here. We can destroy one environment card or a target with three or fewer. Interesting. Well, hit your own things. How about that? I don't think we're gonna get to destroy a target with one hit point. But he has an ongoing card we can get rid of. Probably the Sapiens Simulator. It's problematic. And then. He may destroy an environment card. Seeds. That's good. Uh, yeah, so controlled demolition can let us prevent this thing from happening if we want. Oh, we could shuffle the assassin into its deck. I just saw that and I wanted to do it immediately. That seems excellent. What's going on here? Oh, because, so this is like trying to do the like, the highlight, but it like wrapped differently. So that's it like word wrapped. It's not supposed to word wrap. That's a bug. So you just make a quick beta feedback. 
damage. Give you more aggressive recycling versus echo. That's glitchy. The background effect table is worth wrapping. That should be an easy fix. Also, this beta feedback screen is now like Spirit Island, if you haven't noticed. That's been updated. Sentinels is now on Unity 2021, even ahead of the other games. Hey, we haven't had a gameplay bug yet, just this really minor visual glitch. Literally unplayable. And we can play a location for free here. Or we could do this again. Let's play a location. So each villain target or one target. We want to get rid of the armament. So let's hope we get luck with the environment. We can get it down to one. Dolphin's got it. It's unplayable. Ooh, yeah, Mysterious Ceremonies. Free card play, that should let us do one damage, right? We could do one damage to each with this. We could play Inspired Repair and then Powered Shockwave. Actually, that's better because we get rid of the Arrow Launcher. We could Scatter Siege. It doesn't do anything right now. Yeah, I think it's Unity. Play Powered Shockwave. Actually, play Inspired Repair to heal up the bots by one. Right, they heal after you play a card. This is like a very weird card. Like normally this happens, playing a card at the end of a one shot happens at the end almost always, but on this card it doesn't. A very unusual thing. So he's also if there are ever no imprints in play, he flips, but right now there are two. So it's kind of like, it's not so bad to just leave him on this side. He won't go back on his own. I guess he can, but he can destroy his imprints, right? That's a thing he can do. The highest HP. Try two hero ungrown room cards. Well, there are only two. Speaking of him destroying each imprint, okay. <laughs> goodbye, Swift Bot. Goodbye, Platform Bot. Goodbye. Goodbye, everything. When does he have a good time? On the other side. He has a better time on the other side. <laughs> On this side, it's a very bad time for him. He's overloading with... I mean, he's literally playing the card where he's overloading. Uh, we get to perform each weakness text. Play a card if you do destroy a hero ongoing. Well, we don't have any. And... Argo deals itself damage. Well, that can happen first. So if we play an ongoing, we lose it right away. So let's not do that. But we can, like... Play Proverbs and Axioms, for example, or PC Augmentation, or an Equipment. Scatter Seeds, I think I want to play on my turn. I guess I could play Cultivation, and then I could get those seeds going. Giving them a card draw is nice too, though, right? Play that. And she can deal herself damage and use a power. Why not? Actually, is it psychic damage? It is psychic damage, right? It counts for scatter seeds. I mean, it can, yeah, it doesn't matter the type. Oh, yeah, and those. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's. Definitely, Unity wants to heal. Sure, he can just heal. But she wants to deal self damage, use a power to play this, which keys off of that. It's kind of like 
It's not free damage, but it's like makes the number go up. Please draw seeds, thank you. Like any more seeds would be cool. Wow, I got two. Alright. Well, we have another scatter seeds. Uh, Splashing brambles is good. Tree is fine. Want the land is nice. With attunement, I don't usually play, so let's get rid of that. Uh, yeah, with one with the land, we don't really need scatter seeds as much. And we'll go without the tree and the brambles. Maturation's really good, though. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> there, we're getting a lot in the trash. As long as we can reshuffle it in, which we're going to get to do. All right. He flips. He destroys all our stuff, but there aren't any... So yeah, a lot happened, but like, we're fine. I'm gonna go grab another beer. I'll be right back. Mighty chair, you should eat some girl sale cookies now. I have a Saint Amboise oatmeal stout, quite nice stout. So the scholar. I haven't had this stout for a while. It's a tasty brew from Quebec, Montreal. Moral farm is good. I don't have that much room to heal though. Just seven. We go back for another flesh to iron. And sort of just tank. Get it of the way, it doesn't really do anything either. I guess it might hit another imprint. All right, we'll play it. He plays one. Burnished skin. Meh. Card 52, welcome. First time chat. Got a few questions. Do you all do viewer games? Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but you can tell me. Uh, any word on Definitive Edition getting an app? No news there, but something we're interested in in the future. Uh, these characters that you see, Argo and Dr. Metropolis, and the other ones from the last game are from Sentinels of Earth Prime, which is a new standalone cross-compatible game coming soon. Uh, it was funded on Kickstarter, and uh, it has been in development for a while. It's in beta testing, and it's fully cross-compatible. So this it's a standalone app. You can see it looks different and, and everything. But you can play with your characters from Sentinels of the Multiverse and vice versa. If you boot up Sentinels of the Multiverse and you have Earth Prime installed, you can play that as well. So yeah, we're putting the finishing touches on it and we're hoping to get it released soon. So yeah. Viewer games are multiplayer games with viewers. Uh, that has happened before. 
it's not super common, but something we've done in the past. Especially when we like release new stuff, that t that's t tends to be when we might do something like that. So, uh, okay, so let's we can get a bot from our trash, right? I'm just thinking what I want to do here. I'm just thinking of hasty augmentation on a Kashtria. She could play maturation. But then she wouldn't have any cards left for her turn, so it's not that exciting. This is Volvo Parts. Yeah, we did a game with the, the guys who, who, who they they did a spader and a blade on. Yeah, they also like got the achieve, they got the achievements and whatever, right? It's some different different games before. And yeah, in Spirit on Saturday you can you can join in. That is true facts. Let's play platform bot. We have to punch Argo. That's our goal here. Shock filaments. Fair enough. Let's get, we want healing pollen. We're like, okay. We could do. I'm like, where's the one that deals damage? They're already all in there. <laughs> uh. Yeah, maybe it's just healing pollen then. All right. Uh, Unity have a hit point. Let's play Cultivation and use that power to shuffle all cards, because there's, like, mostly seeds. Yeah. Discard the top card. Find our seeds. What do we discard? Nothing too exciting. All right. I would like to punch bad guy, but it's not working. Uh, I don't want to destroy the non-target environment card. It's a good one. Oh, we can reveal the top card. This At the start of the turn, this is going to reveal the top cards if a target discarded. So we want to... We might get a Shinobi Assassin, I guess. That could happen. Maybe we just, like, play this. And don't use a power? Uh, I don't like that. Let's just... Let's just we get assassins, we get assassins. Uh, we may discard. Yeah, let's discard this. We can get another... Yeah, we can get, like... This is interesting. So, we don't want this. Discard it and put the Mysterious Ceremonies on top. Which is then gonna get the Resurrection Ritual. Yeah, that's fine. And then we get two card plays, or lots of card draws, or whatever. Also, the card play was a seed, and there's another seed on top. So, Argo has minus two damage. And we have double Mysterious Ceremonies, which is nice. Rapid Growth. I don't want to do that. I don't want that. We can play bots. For free. We could also play Don't Dismiss Anything. That seems like a good start. Oh, I want the other thing. <laughs> the thing where I get to play the top card of my deck. Go back. Click. Ooh. All right, well, this is what we would have played. Supply crate. 
situation. Ah, no way street. We gain two HP or deal himself damage and use a power. We could play instantaneous maturation. Get one of these other ones. Just like heal myself back, I guess. Trash does not have what we want, right? So, play another card. Oh, wait, then. <laughs> we have to play the card. Well, it's happening. Oh, my God. Uh, sure. Stuff is happening. Plays an imprint. Also, this happens. It's like Argo is here and we're playing a different game. I can use my power to play a location, but it doesn't really do much, so let's just get hit points here. Alright. Play the top card. Cool. Cool. Super cool. Alright. We get another mysterious ceremonies. We all get to draw cards too. Uh we could play Cryobot? I want to play this. Let's play Cryobot and we'll play that on our turn. Smoke dispenser. This is just happening. It matters. Destroy two hero ongoing or equipment cards. Mm. I want cultivation. I like cultivation more than that. Eclipse. We get to do one weakness text. Use a power. Draw a card. Each player may draw a card. We're destroying ongoing for playing a card. I'm kind of into drawing a card because the scholar doesn't want to doesn't have any cards he wants to play. <laughs> Pick that one. That's better. We'll play that one. for strangling roots. We can't even get through here, right? But you have to choose because Stuntman exists. Oh, also he's, he's doing da actually dealing damage here. That's fine. I don't really care which one I hit. Discard a card. I think it's going to be that. Do 
Get out the way. You want to hit the smoke dispenser because it's a jerk. And again, once more, we have two primordial seeds that could be hastily augmented. And she has cards she wants to play, yeah, so let's do that. I get to play two cards? No, I don't get to play two cards. That would be too good. Deal a damage. Oh yeah, resurrection ritual. We can get rid of that with the Dr. Metropolis pretty easily. All right, Cryobot, you've done your service. You existed. For Swiftbot to come back. When this card is destroyed, it first deals damage. We just do the damage. That would like. Cultivation was gonna shuffle. Yeah. Perhaps we have a card on top that we want, so. Just beat up on our go here. Play the top card! Leave the assassin alone. Yeah, we can destroy the resurrection ritual, which makes the cards go into the trash. So we play. One of these cards. Seem like. This is slightly more damage to Argo rank, so. Let's do that twice. Argo is going to be at six. Get two card plays. I think that's probably it. Also, I goes almost getting killed by <laughs> a seed. Uh, three or fewer, man, so close. Now oh, we could instead redirect to this and stop the master of the temple. Honestly, it's fine. I think we're fine. I should have kept the card let me do a lot of damage. Uh, hasty augmentation is the win, right? So, City Speaks is like almost enough damage. So let's do that first. Kapow. And then we have to do one damage. So, who wants to finish down? can't actually I'm like I want Dr. Metropolis to do it but he can't he can't do it uh the scholar can do it get out the way GG Argo we win Right. 
Arcturus. Argo has been defeated. Outcome is assured. Let's play one more. Random says, Progeny. In Mars, Bowman Pseudo Lifeline. All right. All right. Will I defeat Progeny? Yes or no? Let me know. Get your votes in. Or hand the points to join Spirit Island Saturday. Or, you know, do whatever you want. I don't know. Bowman will not fail. Bowman has Electro Arrow. Practice makes perfect. Shrieker Arrow and Speed Shooting. Pseudo's got Bait and Switch. Clobbering Arms. Clobbering Arms and Stealthy Form. And Lifeline has Cosmic Emulation, Enclave's Tech, Unnatural Upheaval, and Vitality Battery. Progeny has what Progeny has. Logic Dolphin, you should join Spirit on Saturday. I recommend it. Oh, great. Sign of the Storm plays more cards. Don't like that. Well, he does have a damage boost here. I have 118,000 hand lever points just from watching and streaming. <laughs> I get them while I'm streaming as well. Sign of Blight. Spirit Island hates him. All right. Those are not ongoing cards. Uh, there are... You know what? This should say how many Scion cards there are, right? That would be cool. There are, there will be three or more when the next one is played, so we're at the point where we we'll start destroying them. All right, Practice Makes Perfect is always good to play. Speed Shooting is my favorite power, so let's start with Practice Makes Perfect and see what we get. Bola Arrow. I think I can just discard that. And we'll play Speed Shooting. Uh, this is the Variant Bowman. Uh, Golden Age Bowman. Search your deck for an arrow and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck. But we have stuff we want already. So let's play. We could play all of our arrows. That's interesting. We don't have an ongoing. I think we want to save it. So let's just play the Electro Arrow only. Uh, we have to discard because we dealt damage. Uh, we probably don't need... Actually, destroying ongoings is really nice. So let's discard the Vitality Battery. I don't think we're going to need that. Oh, well. Not a lot of targets. There's only Progeny and three Villainous Weaponries. Like, that's it. So we don't really have a lot of non-hero targets to worry about. You get a free arrow, boxing glove arrow. Worth it. And this is regular pseudo. So we can play this with our power. We could put this on top of the villain deck, which honestly, it's not that bad a card for him to play right now. And since we only had, doesn't it, it should probably tell us what it did. Um, but since there was only one card, it, one, the, one of them has to go on the top. Uh, so I'm going to just make a note here that bait and, when they're bait and switch should say what it did. Just for clarity, because... 
has to go on top, but that may not be obvious. Pretty simple thing to show. I am playing in CRISPR mode. No information is given. Yeah, that is something that's on our list. Our long list of feature requests is CRISPR mode, where, like, the game doesn't show you anything going on. It just goes as fast as possible. Uh, yeah. We don't do CRISPR mode. Let's just discard this other clobbering arms that we have. Clobber, clobber. Mind over matter. And yeah, I'm gonna go with Uncle's tech, see what we get. A casing. And since this is the only damage this turn, I'm just gonna take the let's pseudo to draw a card, probably. Oh, we have two scavenge the field. That's not great. Let's skip Bowman to draw a card. Good. I mean I like speed shooting, but I don't need two. So let's get a hit point here because we don't want to discard just for one damage. Hey look, villainous weaponry. The other target in the game. And the casing is helpful here. He's doing the area damage. Yeah, we definitely want to get rid of that weaponry. Sign of Frost. Definitely getting rid of the one that makes him play extra cards. That's the worst. Frost is bad, Blade is bad, but I mean, they're all, none of them are good. Uh, let's see, yeah. Maybe we don't deal him damage this turn, because he's gonna heal it. I guess we could shoot the villainous weaponry, right? But yeah, let's shoot the villainous weaponry. And then we get a free one. We do get a free one. You may destroy one ongoing. I decline. I guess I could destroy the clobbering arms if we wanted to play another one that was limited or whatever, but... Alright. Mind over matter. And I think we're not going to play the shape. Do we have to deal this damage? I do have to deal the damage. Alright. We will play, like... We are dealing, yeah, we're dealing damage here, so we don't have to use the power, but we're going to run out of cards, but luckily we have Lifeline who's helping us out. Bowman does not need both to scavenge the field. Do I want to play this then? I guess we don't, because we already hit him this turn. We'll leave the clubbering arms. Three card draws. Three card draws. I like three card draws. But we have three card draws. Self destruct sequence. I can play Zipline Arrow and destroy that card right now. My self destruct sequence. Maintenance level. Like, there's no benefit to having that card in play. Free arrow, one damage and three damage. That is a net benefit, depending if you care about the discard, which you sort of do, but. Probably don't need both stealthy forms. I really want the card where I discard a card, discard an arrow to draw another card. That would be cool, but I don't have it yet. This one is crazy. Search the Vilnik for one card and put it on top. 
part of the bottom. We are making progress. Let me give Bowman a card draw again. Try to find his quiver. We did damage Progeny, so let's psychically hit him with the casing. Fire in the biosphere. Oh, sorry. Two damage, and we must destroy an ongoing card or take two more fire damage. And we also lose a card. Uh, we're going to have Lifeline discard a card here because he has lots. I think Cosmic Immolation is probably not going to be a thing here. And I don't need both speed shootings. That is true. I don't need clevering arms. I don't really need the other card either, but... Sign of the storm is here. I want to get rid of it again. Get rid of the frost. We are, we have some card draw, so keeping ahead of the blight. Progeny, gun progeny. Luckily, Terminax casing is good for that. One shot. Damage dealt to the target is irreducible, not an issue right now. We have seven arrows in our trash. I don't want to play these cards. I mean, I could play Electro Arrow, I could play Shrieker Arrow. We would have to discard, but it's not terrible. It is making progress. I really want to save this for, I mean, well, his ongoing cards, obviously the, the one where he can't play cards, this one is easy to, is not a thing, it's the this one, where we can't play cards at all. We could get lucky and play a Shrieker Arrow off of that. That's a thing. Uh, I guess we just we just go for it. Shoot him, shoot him more. Uh, lifeline, discard a card. This is sort of equivalent to the destroying ongoing card. One. I'll just play the one. Top was not an arrow. It's a good card, though. It's a good card sprint. Search the villain deck for one card. Put it on the top. A scion card. We get rid of scion of the storm. I think. So what's it going to be? Sign of Flame. It's kind of gross. Plus one damage, but they're all gross. <laughs> Discarding lots of cards. Yeah, let's go with the extra sign of Blight. Top of deck. And do I want to play this shape? I kind of don't. Actually, I can redirect it to Lifeline. That works. And there's minus one. Uh, Bowman can discard Acid Arrow, I think. Still want that card. 
Discard the top card of Bowman's deck, because it might be an arrow, I guess. Oh, it was Quick Drive Quiver. No! Ah, oh, I don't like that. Don't like that. We do a ley line shift. Sure. Oh, right. Obviously, I stacked the top of the villain deck. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this instead. Or this. Let's do this. Foolish. Does Uda have something to play? No. Bowman has something to play, so. Pseudo draw card. Fail. <laughs> Let's have a hit point and not deal this damage. One player may discard two cards. Well, we're going to do it. The Vitality Battery is back. How did that come back? I discarded it. Did I have to reshuffle my deck? I guess I did with Enclave's deck. Does that do that? Yeah. Okay, that's why. <laughs> Alright. Still go away. Maintenance level. Play the next environment. Guard, mind over matter. We can redirect this to lifeline. I don't really want to destroy this. The good power, Brent. We can. I mean, the mind over matter is not really doing anything. We also just destroy the shape, but the shape's actually kind of useful against progeny, so. And I like that. We are getting beat up. Don't play more cards. He flipped. BT dub. But every time we hit him, we have to discard two cards. Hey, it's Quick Talk Rover. Oh my god. Alright. That makes life much better. The first time, each time he's got an area, we draw one card. So, like, that's super, super good. Just have lots of arrows. Uh, yeah. We want we want to like have arrows. Doesn't even matter which one. Draw one card and stretch other shape. I guess I might get a different shape. Hit the draw. I didn't. We do this punch though because it's plus two and also Bowman just discards arrows and gets other cards back immediately. All right, he's running out of arrows, but still. Can play his card to get all of his arrows back to his hand and then do that forever. So that's pretty rad. Uh, so I think we lay line shift now. Now that we didn't control the villain deck, the inevitable is there. Meteor Storm we could play. It's fun. 
we could play another copy of Leyline Shift. That seems fine. I don't really care that much about these. We could like, I guess we could control what he plays. Make him play Sign of Frost. I kind of like him having Sign of Blight though. We make him play Elemental Outburst. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Immune to the environment. Top of the deck. Top of the deck to you. Alright. Omen can have another arrow, maybe. It's another quiver. That's fine. You want a hit point? I could still hit Progeny. <laughs> You're just discarding arrows. Continue to discard arrows. This shuffling trash into deck is bad right now. I think we do that next turn. We have 16 arrows in our trash, so no this turn. Uh, Bowman can discard two cards. He doesn't have arrows, but he can discard other things. Uh, he does actually have more arrows. <laughs> Pin the target is here. All right, Bowman is discarding a card. We're losing our quick draw clipper. Oh no. We can destroy it, I hope. Mars base is causing trouble for us. Bowman's also maybe gonna die. Uh, let's, we have, we don't have more quivers in our deck, right? We can at least get a million cards back. Into our hand. The scroll bar scrolls. All right. Use damage by one. This could let us have a look at the deck. You start your turn, you may play a shape. That's good, actually. Let's do that. And go thickened build or something else. All right, Bowman's not going to get to draw, but he also can. He has a million cards. He's dying soon, so. We can do this to reveal the top card of deck. We can also have damage reduction. We can also have reflection, basically. Let's want to look at Pajani's deck. The Inevitable or Sign of Flame. That's just going to reveal an ongoing, which is terrible. So it's Sign of Flame, unfortunately, which does kill Bowman, I think. Maybe we can 
make the best use of it here. Draw two or play three. Sorry, the other way around. Play two or draw three. Oh, we don't have the minus one anymore. It's in our trash. So we hope to draw it soon again. Because we kind of need it. Actually, we can get it. Oh, we could have gotten... Oh, hang on. Pervasive Red Dust lets us get it back. All right. So we'll play these other cards. Do I want to use a power now? No. I'll get to use it normally? Oh, no, I wouldn't. Right. Right, right, right. Because I'm going to play the, S, the axe and use it, so. Okay. So if I play... Well, I mean, if we play this, and we can... It's more obvious if we do this. Yes, use a power now. Do this. Let's pseudo draw another card. Use the axe. Bowman discard cards. Bowman's gonna die. shuffle our trash into our deck because we want I mean if we don't get the minus one we don't get the minus one how many what cards are here meteor storm bonus weaponry another pervasive red dust oh I'm gonna click yes yes do we have an equipment? We don't. Of course we don't. Yeah, and then <laughs> I figured that might happen. <laughs> so whatever. Whatever. Whatever, Progeny. And then, wait, what happened to the card I put on top? Did I do it wrong? I don't know what happened. Did I do it wrong? Maybe we discarded it? Did we, did we screw it up? I don't know what happened. That's definitely not the card I wanted on top. I must have did it wrong. And wow, we're taking plus, plus two damage. So Bowman's definitely dead. Sorry, Bowman. Uh, time of tribulations. Destroy one equipment belonging to each player, then one Scion card. Yeah, that's actually pretty good to get rid of the Scion card, so I don't want to destroy that. You can give a card draw to Lifeline. You can use the power to draw more cards, so. And. Lifeline want something else. I think, yeah. I think we are not doing great. This is my start of turn. I can play three shapes this turn. Those blights are rough without Bowman now. I want to end with Thicken Build, I think. So do that one. I want the, like, the thing that gives me hit points. Uh, discard Mars Base so we get a better idea of what's happening here. It's half and half for that right now. Is it worth it? Three damage to discard two of the lifelines cards. I guess we can discard. Right, 
it's two damage if we don't. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh, it's gross. I think we just play this and we don't use power. We just don't deal damage. To try to survive somehow. Try to get our armor back. We didn't get it. to move up to five cards. Uh, no. Don't. I did it wrong. I said sign of flame, but right. That was the card that got put on the wrong place or whatever. Oh, I clicked the wrong card. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we agree to discard cards. Uh, I have this in play already. I have this in play already. Good. Good. Hour of Reckoning. We can destroy that, but it would get rid of Sign of Blight, which is something. And then he's just gonna... Oh, wait, where's this Sign of Flame? They got discarded. There's any signs left. It's kind of nice. So if we let this happen, we just go for the draw. Can't play cards. Just like try not to die. Try not to die and the scions go away and you can't play anymore for five turns. It's not terrible. We are going to lose our ongoing cards. We didn't get our healing one yet, did we? No, let's try to get that. Lifeline might die, but pseudo... They won't die. The beer hit hard. Oh, also we're immune to damage. That helps. Destroy one belonging to each player. Oh, so we can destroy the thickened build, which is fine because it's just a shape. And do we have another matter manipulator or Ironman Arcana? I don't think we need that right now, anyways. No Scions. He destroys the environment card, so he does end up getting to deal damage here. There's all of our stuff. We're back at square one, but he's at half. So, is that good? <laughs> Sudo, get your healing card. Oh my gosh, get your healing card. The top two cards are the villain trash. We could have him play beginning of the end again. We 
You can just like, this discards cards that don't match, which is kind of annoying. We could have him, we could decide what he plays, which is gonna be Farm of the Harbinger, or, oh, that discards the other cards, yeah. I have to go to the walkthrough, I'll be right back. Got an interesting, BRB. Ask the chair for advice. Oh, mighty chair. Sparky Wolf wants more points. Let's see. So, this card gets us more shapes, but we discard the cards that aren't shapes. It doesn't get us closer to finding the card we want, but we get more shapes, I guess, so it doesn't really change anything. I don't know. We got more stuff. Uh, I think we want to end up with the minus one again. We want to prevent card plays at the cost of four or five damage. And right, we could make him play a card from the trash, which I guess like beginning of the end would be fine. We don't, like we continue to not get set up. So we don't actually get to like make progress, I guess. That's a problem, isn't it? That heals us for three. I think we do that though. Like, this is like the least worst thing you can do right now. It slows him down. We can actually hit him. We don't actually need to heal. We could do clobbering arms. So he's not actually recovering. Uh, we could give Lifeline a hit point. And yeah, then he can play a card. Yeah, that seems fine. Not play a card, but you know. I'll play the environment, which could do anything. Not necessarily ideal, but I think we'll destroy it if it's bad. Oh, also we get to punch Progeny more. Uh
We are getting, right, zero damage from this, so that's fine. Yeah, I think getting the three hit points is good here. Pseudo is going to be the one alive here soon, so... We don't actually need to destroy these, but she's going to destroy them. Lifeline is still alive. Could Lifeline find his minus one card? It could happen. Uh, battle shifter. I mean, we right now we can like hit progeny, right? It's kind of nice. This is the one that heals me. We don't know what he's playing, but it's probably nothing problematic, right? We can destroy these ongoings if they come out. He might kill. I guess he might kill lifeline if he plays. Plays that. So we could make sure he plays, say, Hour of Reckoning, and then we just destroy it on Bowman's turn. That's probably good. If we can try to let Lifeline survive here, that would be useful. So not that. We are making progress. It's exciting. Uh... We also, like, we could do this. Maybe next round? I don't know. Go to the one where we draw a card. Seems good. Each player draws three and discards two. I like that. Like, none of these say Lifeline survives. <laughs> Is kind of what I'm looking for. <laughs> the card that says Lifeline Survives, which we don't have. I think that's not a card we're gonna find. The card that, like, Pseudo is gonna survive, and so Pseudo is gonna be one on one with Progeny here in a second. Literally in a second. There it is. So, let's try that. I think we want to be always healing when we play a shape and go from there. have more hit points than progeny that's the goal what does he have draw a card play a card regain two hp if they're at max and use a power you can play the battle shifter you can play the telepathic coordinator and we play the battle shifter Ah, joke's on you, we don't have equipment cards anymore. He flips because we are above 10. We can destroy this ongoing so we can play cards. I want to play this after, I want to play this with this. So we can chip away at the villainous weaponry as well.
All right, so here we can look at Progeny's deck. Discard one and put the other on top. I think that's what we screwed up before, I guess. Uh, so let's get rid of the increased damage by one. He's just gonna do this and deal one damage. And that does discard the other cards, but it's okay. And then Barbed Spines. No, wait, this is another play. Okay, play Mind Over Matter. And, well, that was our start of turn shape. Right, 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 okay. Do you wanna play Mind Over Matter then or Telepathic Coordination? Yeah, telepath like mind over matter doesn't really do anything. Uh, so telepathic coordination. Good, we got a thickened build. All right, so yeah, I don't, I don't think mind over matter actually does anything for us. I mean, it reduces the damage from this card, but I think we can get away with just like beating him up here. Play a shape. It's gonna be burnt spines. They wanna get rid of that weaponry, but not like directly attack it. Sort of. I want to do both things. Play a card. Preserve self image. And then thicken build probably, unless we get clobbering arms, which we did get. We could take out the weaponry, which is just like the same as playing thicken build, really. That's better to play on our turn, right? So let's play this now. I'm gonna be at full for free powers. That would be cool. I don't want to discard a card. This is not doing anything in terms of equipment. Oh, two villainous weaponries. It's not great. Here is the slow, <laughs> slow end game. All right, he has. He's going to reshuffle and play a card. We, there's no way for us to control that. Start of the turn. We could reveal the environment deck. I want barbed spines to kill the villainous weaponry. I guess if we barbed spines now and then from battle shifter, we can do that. We can actually get rid of all of the weaponries by doing it this way. So we play Clobbering Arms now. But the other one... I don't love doing that, but... It's, uh... We still hit Progeny a little bit and keep him from hitting us too hard. So, Pseudo's at four below, so we can't quite get the free power. We can play Preserve Self Image again. He keeps getting to do because he keeps reshuffling his trash into his deck. And now he could play anything. Play thick and build and be at max. We could play risky impersonation and stop him from playing cards. That seems really good, actually. Even though it costs us five hit points. I think we have 24. I think it's a good time to do it. Meteor Storm comes, which could happen here. Nope. Uh, 
I don't think I want to do that. Right, so we get to see what the card is. Farmer the Harbinger. Uh, yeah, we don't want a Scion. Discard instead. All right, now we're, we don't need to heal again. <laughs> Uh, draw a card. Speaking of healing, we can play Thick and Build, but we can also play, yeah. This one, like, there is no projectile and melee damage in this fight, right? So, it's a good one to play. We can now control his deck by playing Perfect Disguise. Or we could make him play exactly that, but that's a bad one, so. Our Reckoning is fine because, yeah. So let's discard beginning to end and put, put our Reckoning on the top. Because it really isn't anything. And now we can punch him and play Thick and Build. All right, I think we're on the path to victory here. It's just really slow. <laughs> uh, we can play a card. We can play Mind Over Matter now, I think. That can help us a little bit when we're blocking his card plays. We don't care about shuffling trash in a deck, I don't think. So let's get rid of this. Discard for this. Uh, stealthy form. And... I want perfect disguise. That's really good. Meteor storm. Sure. That does mean that... Bowman can't skip his turn to get rid of meteor storm. Kind of annoying. I mean, he can. You just have to. We just don't get to play cards, and so like we don't get to do anything on our turn. <laughs> really. So, I think we say no. Destroy our reckoning, so we can at least look at Progeny's deck here, or control it somehow. So this is playing a shape. We want to draw a card. That's good. Oh, we could skip now. Uh, I think we skip like Lion's turn. Or we just don't. We don't skip this round. That might be fine. Uh, we could have him play beginning to end, but I don't want to destroy my ongoings. I think we... I guess, we, yeah, what we can do is destroy Meteor Storm on Lifeline's turn and put that ongoing back on top and destroy it there. So we can do that. So... Oh, we want to actually play Preserve Self-Image. And, oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Well, I already did it. Uh, get Sign of Frost. Turns out. I may play a shape. I mean, we could discard the Sign of Frost. I think I want to do that.
You have to take the damage to block the card play. Uh oh, it's like, oh no, not another meteor storm. Go away, Scion. It's kind of like playing with Night Mist in the end game. Or Scholar, where you're just like healing back up and using your HP to do stuff and healing back up and so on and so forth. All right, you play this. Discard, I don't know. Environment deck. Why did the pervasive red desk care about that? Was, like that's what it showed, right? Oh no, it's the other. It's the other card. Oh, that was the card that got discarded. That makes sense. Uh, top two cards of villain trash. I don't like those. <laughs> I can hit him back by playing that one. I don't know if I bother playing this for one hit point. I think I just skip. them back. We're slowly getting there. He's gonna play a card and we don't know what it's gonna be. Try not to think about it. Well, how about if we know exactly what it's going to be? Couldn't that be useful? Like, if it's like this and it doesn't matter, that seems good. Trying to think about it. <laughs> that works. Pseudo's deck manipulation is very good. Do we want to trade HP with Rajani? I think we do get rid of this more damage to us than it is to Progeny. And we can make him play the same cardigan. So. The cozy cardigan. Oh no, it's irreducible. I guess that reduces the damage I hit, hit him by one, but... Oh look, we destroy an ongoing. Oh look, he plays obvious utility. Um, can do two damage or draw some cards. I think I just. It's interesting. I gotta punch him. I want to punch him. I want to win. <laughs> Draw a card, play a card, get two hit points. I'm going to take the draw. I go below 10. Nope. I mean, we will on his turn. All right. Destroy oh, do I want to skip the rest of my turn? No. Destroy the ongoing. 
All right, now he's going to play a card we don't know. Probably. Start a turn play, get a hit point. That's a card to get discard. All right. Clobbering arms is nice. We want to probably end with that. I'm just kind of ignoring the villainous weaponry now because I want to end the game. <laughs> self-image. I don't think we don't have to skip now. Worst case, we play Collaborating Arms again. What do we have now? We can't play Collaborating Arms again, right? That's the thing. We can look at his deck. Inevitable, an hour of reckoning. Yeah, this one we can just get rid of easily, so. No scions here. Oh, I mean, by yes, I mean no. Stop asking me. I should say no for all game. End damage. That's how we win. Is the oxygen leak? Sure. Oh wait, I clicked I clicked the wrong card. I clicked the wrong card. I'm going back. I just clicked the wrong card. the card you want to discard. Gotta blame Christopher on this one. This happened before. I'm not making it I'm not letting us letting it make us lose the game. Ultra no mint. Yeah. It was a mis it was a misclick. It didn't change anything. Do your worst progeny. There's ten toxic damage coming to you. Oh, except we're gonna lose the game first. Yeah. Right now that's gonna lose the game first. But I think it's okay. We might even be able to win with clobbering arms. We're so close to winning with clobbering arms, we're like one damage away, right? He's gonna be at one. We could make Mars base reshuffle. That's funny. Clobbering arms. Oh wait, no, we do win on it. Because we have two clobbering arms, we just win right now. Haha, -ha, take that. Alright. That sorts it. Good game. I defeated Progeny. That was way super close. <laughs> Turns out Pseudo is a good survivor, like Nightmist and Scholar. Yeah, I did not have a game like that. I've not had a game like that for a while, so that's pretty cool. 
There is the super cool head blasting off in this base of Progeny, which is easy for him on Mars relative to Earth, so good job, Progeny. Uh, yeah, this has been Handlover Live. Uh, I'm John, and I like to play all of our games. We will see you next time. Make sure to tune into the rest of the streams on our channel and watch out for Sentinels of Earth Prime coming soon from Handlover Games. Have a good night. Bye for now.